हे ऑल डू यू नो वन थिंग सीड हैड फिनिश स्टडिंग बायनरी फाइल्स बट जस्ट हैज ही बिगिन टू रिलैक्स हिज टीचर अनाउंसेस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नाउ वी मूव टू सीएसवी फाइल्स सीड थॉट अनदर फाइल फॉर्मेट ही फेल्ड ओवरवेल्म बट देन ही रिमेंबर्ड समथिंग एवरी एक्सपर्ट वॉज वंस अ बिगिनर हु रिफ्यूज टू क्विट सीड टूक अ डीप ब्रेथ reviewed the basics and practiced one example then another then another finally he realized csv weren't scary at all just like sit you might feel overwhelmed too but the only way through it is through it so in today's video we are going to make csv file crystal clear we will try to understand what is csv file how to read and write data along with that we will understand how to append data Finally we will get to know the usage of next function so let's dive in learn it like sid did and make csv your strength all right then let's understand what is csv file the full form is comma separated values file keep in mind because you may get question based on it csv file is a type of text file that's why you can open it in a any text editor even you can open it in a excel and the file data will be in the readable format generally file data will get stored in the form of rows and column each row will be called as record and the column is called as fields if we look at the file data in the text editor the fields are separated by comma that's why the default delimiter is comma because of that only the name is comma separated values and the file data will look like this when you will open it in a excel The data which we are taking is getting separated by comma. It means we need some functionality to work with CSV file. For that we will be importing CSV module which provides functionality. To write data we have two functions write row as well as write rows. For that we need one writer object too and to read data we need reader object. Let's discuss this in detail. We all are familiar with these operations. The only difference will be the functions which are used for these operations. All right here is the first function that is opening the file we are going to use open function to open the file we are familiar with the first parameter that is file name and the second parameter that is nothing but mode we are going to use text file mode w r and a here is one more parameter we need to discuss in case of csv file that is new line we will come to know the importance of it in a while The second operation that is closing a file is same as text file as well as binary file. Now it is time to discuss how to write data to the CSV file. For that we will be using two function. The first is write row and the second one is write rows. Write row function writes one row of data whereas write rows function will write multiple rows of data. For writing we need writer object. Now let's try to understand what is writer object. Using keyboard we will take the data which we want to write to the CSV file that user data first we will provide to write row or write rows functions these functions will take the data and will pass it to the writer object writer object will convert the data to the delimited data delimited data means fields will get separated by commas and that formatted data then will get written on to the CSV file For writing data to the file we are going to follow this process. In the first step we will import CSV module. The next step is to open the file in the write mode. We will create the writer object as a third step. Using either write row or write rows function we will take the data and will provide to the writer object. Finally we will close the file. These two functions that is write row as well as write rows will work on the writer. That's why first we need to create that writer object. How to create it? This function is available in the CSV module. That's why we will write CSV dot writer, and it takes the parameter of file pointer or file handle. All right. Now let's check out this function write row. It works with the writer object. So make sure to note down the syntax writer object dot write row, and here we will be providing the row. It can be in the form of list or tuple. Look at this example. We are writing one list. One more function we have that is write rows. It is used for writing multiple rows. It also works with the writer object. For multiple rows, we can take the help of nested list. So here is the list of the students that we are writing. Now let's discuss one simple program to write one row to the CSV file. 
the first step is to import csv module the second step is to open the file in the w mode in the third step we are creating writer object for that we have used the writer function here is one list write row function will take that list and will hand over to the writer object to convert that data to delimited format finally we will close the file in this way data will get returned to the csv file you can open the csv file in the text editor like notepad or you can even open it in a excel hope you understood the process of writing data to the csv file let's execute this program and check the output in this way info.csv file got created if you are using vs code here itself we can check the data look at the data the fields are separated with comma if you want to open the file in excel go to that folder let's check out the content of the file here it is you can note down here the data got written to the file but there are no headings what is this 101 and what is this yes we don't have any idea it means there is no column header if you want to give the column header you need to write it using write row function so here is the code for the same first we will write the headers then we will write the data let's execute this program and check the file content you can note here we are getting permission denied error why this is so because file is open whenever file is open it will be in the write protected mode you cannot write any data to the file so make sure file is closed now let's execute it once again we are not getting any error let's check out the content of the file here it is we got the header now and here is the data you might have noticed you are getting one empty line here that we need to rectify how for that we will take help of this third parameter new line we have studied in a video where we discuss text file every line will get end with the backslash n csv file is also a text file that's why here also every line will get with the backslash n that's why we are getting one empty line here but if we don't want that what should we do for that whenever you will open the file in the right mode use this third parameter with the empty quotes it means what we are suppressing that new line all right we have added it don't give any space in between the quotes Let's execute this file once again. Look at the records. There is no empty line now. So in case of CSV file, make sure you are writing this new line parameter in the open function. We know that we don't use file to store one record. We need to store large amount of data. In that case, what you will be doing? Use loop. These statements will be same. Importing CSV module, opening the file in the W mode. write new line parameter so that empty line will not get written to the file in the next statement we are creating writer object and writing heading using loop we are taking the input with that we will create one list and will give it to write row function write row function will take it to the writer object writer object will convert the data to the comma separated values and will write to the file Now let's write one program using write rows function. Here we are taking one nested list, giving to the write rows function. Write rows function will give to the writer object. All right, here is a nested list in which we have taken some names. Please note one more thing that the extension for the CSV file will be dot CSV. So let's execute this program too. File might have got created. The name of the file is student data dot CSV. So let's check out. Look at the records of the file. There is no empty line because we have used new line parameter in the open function. Based on text file, you will be getting three marks question. Based on CSV file, you will be getting four marks question. And based on binary file, you will be getting five marks questions. In case of CSV file, we will be focusing only on these two operations: read and write. We understood how to write data to the CSV file. Now it's time to check out how to read it. for that only one step we need to do we need to create reader object we understood the working of writer object it will take the data from write row or write rows function it will convert the data to delimited format and then write to the file in the same way we need to read data from the file so that job of reading data from the file reader will do it will fetch the data from the file and it will give in the form of iterable then you can iterate over it one by one and process it further so look at the diagram you can understand this easily from the diagram reader object will take the data from the file 
it will give us in the form of iterable then we can loop over it and we can process the data row by row how to create reader object it's very simple csv dot reader it takes file pointer here is the code first we will import csv module open the file in the read mode in the third step we are gonna create reader object and reader function is available in csv module that's why we need to write csv dot reader we got the records from the file now with the for loop we are iterating over the records and printing one by one finally we will close it reading data from the csv file is very simple let's execute this code and check the output look at the output we got all the records from the file let me demonstrate you one more thing if while writing you did not mention this new line parameter then what will happen we know we will get one empty line after every record let me execute and show you look at the file content after every record we are getting empty line now if we will read such file what will happen look at the output here also we could see there is one empty list because empty line is interpreted as no records it means it's an empty list how to rectify this problem now for that also you will be writing new line character while reading the file so let's write it if we execute what output we will get let's check out there is no difference then what's the solution while reading the data we need to tell this new line is backslash n it's time to execute and check the output you can notice we did not get empty list now so please make a note of it if you are writing new line parameter while writing data to the csv file write empty quotes but if you are reading data from the csv file with some empty lines then you will be writing this new line character with backslash n in this way we got to know how to write data and how to read data from the csv file here is the third operation that is append we have already discussed append operation in both the text file as well as csv file and you know csv file is a type of text file when we want to add some more data to the existing file we use append operation so if you want to append data to the csv file we will be using a mode otherwise the code will be same as write operation there is one more important function we need in case of csv file that is next we know when we have written data to the file we have written headers in the beginning but i need to do processing on the actual record that processing will get applied on the header too for that purpose i need to skip this header for that only we need next function what it will do it will skip the first row and the first row is header it means our job is done so look at the simple code we are opening the file in the read mode here is the reader object we will apply next function on the reader object it means it will skip the first row and the file pointer will jump to the second row second row onwards we have actual data of the csv file then you can process it further look at the output when we are reading the file content we are getting this header we need to skip this for that we will use next function after creating reader object we will apply next function on that reader itself with this the first row will get skipped now let's execute and check the output again now if we need to process these records further we can do it easily with that note let's wrap today's video hope you understood all the operations in the next video we will be solving pyqs on csv file just the kind of questions you might see in cbse board exam so stay focused stay strong don't forget to like share and subscribe for more useful lessons this is your mentor signing off see you in the next video